What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are well. It's me, I'm Kwan. Peace and blessings to you all out there. Welcome to 2016, my first vlog of the year. I hope you guys are well. I'm all dressed up, ready to go to work because I'm back at work. And uh, let's turn this screen around. Wow, I can't believe we are starting another new year. Can you believe it? Another new year for us has begun. Anyway, I uh, got my hair cut. Let's start off with the min mundane stuff. I got my hair cut and uh, I opted for something a little different. Check it out. Kind of uh, messy at the top, short back and sides, I think it was. Um, I kind of got a bit tired of the old hairstyle. It looked a little too, I don't know, a little kind of worn on me because I'd had it for a while now. So let me know what you think. You comment down below. Anyway, I'm off to work. Uh, back at work, but it's like full of training and and we have these PD days and all this good stuff. So that's where I'm going. I'm gonna pick somebody up. So yeah, I will vlog you later on. I'll see you then. All right. Right. Before I get into today's chat. Let's do the all-important wristwatch check for those of you that are into wristwatches because there's a sizable portion of you viewers that are increasingly getting into wristwatches, which is always great. This is what I've got on. This is the Steinhardt Ocean Vintage Military on a momentum, kind of a grey, bluey strap. So you just look at it. Doesn't it look amazing? If you want to go and check that out, then you can see that on my reviews channel. Link will be down below. There should be a card somewhere ar around the screen, so go check that out. And incidentally, that's the first unboxing that I've done with Zane, aka Baby Quan. So do go and check that out. Hopefully, it's the beginning of many more videos that I do with him. I, I actually enjoyed uh, <laughs> editing and, and actually shooting that video as well. So that's the watch. Now, second thing, I want to give a massive shout out uh, to one of you Team Mquaners, uh, Team Mquan, uh, and today's shout out goes to Faisal the Artist, uh, first got in contact with me after watching one of my vlogs, Five Ways to Take Control of Your Life, and I put this up actually at the beginning of last year, I had a question come in about how can you take control of your life, I put that up and Faisal said uh, that this vlog helped me change the direction of 2015 so shout out goes to you man I, I'm really glad uh, to know that it was helpful for you and I'll post a link for that video somewhere across the channel so that those of you that haven't seen it already can go and check it out uh, I hope it's beneficial as well all that out of the way what I want to talk about in this vlog is kind of based off the title of this vlog so um, last week I asked on snapchat how uh, you guys felt about the vlogs what you wanted to see in terms of a routine schedule change if any for the vlogs this year and so many of you were asking me to vlog daily and you know I, I, I seriously sat down I spoke to Ms. Bila about it I spoke to a few other people to see if it was something that we could do however I have an issue which is that look for me daily vlogs are really difficult um, I, I have the utmost admiration for daily vloggers but I do recognize that there are two things that is unique to their circumstances one is that the daily vlogs for them uh, is either YouTube full-time so it's almost like working full-time so that makes it easier for them to do in my understanding or you get the second group which is that you know they really don't have um, they don't have responsibilities and work in the way that I do so therefore vlogging for them is much more easier to do on a daily basis now I love vlogging I love creating content for you guys but it's increasingly difficult for me to juggle that with everything else I work I do consultancy I have a family you know that I've got to be an active part of so it's difficult really difficult for me to vlog and produce quality content that I can put out there so for that reason I'm not going to vlog daily however what I want to get clear is that I will be vlogging twice a week continue that routine uh, last year for most of last year it was Wednesday and Saturday what I'm thinking about doing this year is I'm thinking about changing it to Wednesday and Sunday those would be two days for vlogs 
So number one, I want to know what you guys think about that idea. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see in terms of schedule. I thought Wednesday was midweek and Sunday was kind of the weekend for majority of you, the beginning of the week for the rest of you. Sunday would allow me to kind of do something and then film it on the weekend and then upload it on Sunday. So that's my rationale for it. Let me know what you guys think. So that's the first thing. The second thing is I'm thinking about incorporating one additional vlog on this channel. However, I don't want it to be like a vlog. That video is going to be somewhere in between Wednesday and Sunday. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking of doing something. Uh, it's going to be a vlog, but not a traditional vlog. I not me kind of, you know, uh, going places or doing things. It's going to be either me talking about something answering one of your questions, it could be about a range of different things, or it's about me sharing something which is personal to myself, i.e., you know, the tools that I use for something, or, you know, outfit of the day perhaps, or something like that, or perhaps even meeting someone. Um, so that's gonna be a short vlog, um, that's something that I can do way in advance and then, you know, upload that for you guys. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, leave your comments down below. It'll be interesting to read that. Anyway, that's it for this kind of chat segment. Time to go home. Yes. He's almost walking now. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me, baby. Come on. Yeah. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. What? <laughs> Having issues at the moment with baby Kwan and eating. But Miss Beeler's baked us a. I was gonna say a cake, but it's actually a pie. What's in here, my wife? <laughs> Chicken and mushroom. Chicken and mushroom homemade pie. Do you think we should have done with a little longer on the top? No, I guess we really hard. It's good. You sure? Yeah. You the balls. You the balls. When it puffs up. Look at that. Mm. We're slowly weaning baby Kwan off his iPad, <laughs> which is requiring some getting used to. Basically, we put what he's familiar with, the music, on this uh, Bluetooth speaker in front of him, but no screen. And the next stage, hopefully, is obviously to turn that off and then allow him to kind of enjoy food time. But if you guys have, any of you guys have any suggestions on how to get a young toddler, to eat then please leave a comment down below because at the moment he sure is challenging I don't know how or why he doesn't want to eat because both me and Miss Bila actually love our food and uh, yeah this is a chicken pie there it is all served up looking forward to this Bila mm, taste it first should be nice <laughs> 